Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CaOH2. Now here is a trick, guys. If you have a compound that has three or more different elements in it, you know you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's best to identify the polyatomic ion and then go from there. In this case, we do have the three elements. We have Ca, which is calcium, O for oxygen, and H for hydrogen. Let's identify that, pil uh, that, <laughs> that polyatomic ion. Now remember, polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. They always need to be either memorized or your teacher or professor will be kind enough to give them to you on the test. My teachers and professors were not kind, so I had to memorize them. So in this case, I wrote down the one that we're going to be using here. OH, right? It's always a negative one charge. It always gains one electron. And that polyatomic is always called hydroxide. So you're just going to like, you know, find it on your compound. And here it is. Ah, gotcha. There's the OH. That's the polyatomic. The only other element we have is calcium. But if we look on the periodic table for calcium, calcium is right here. Calcium is in group two. And all of group two are called alkaline earth metals. So it's a metal, right? It's in the name of the group. Okay? Now all elements are accounted for. Let's start naming. The metal name, calcium is going to come first because it's literally first in the compound. And that name always stays exactly the same. So calcium will just stay calcium. That's I-U-M. The polyatomic comes next, the OH we're going to group together, and that name always stays the same. So that's kind of easy, but you just got to memorize them. So OH is hydroxide. So I'm just going to put hydroxide. You don't have to do anything to that name. And now, since it's ionic, you say to yourself, do I need a Roman numeral? You only need Roman numerals for transitional metals, right? Usually they're going to be in this box here. But since calcium is an alkaline earth metal, it's in group two, and not a transitional metal, I don't need a Roman numeral. So we're done. So CaOH2 is calcium hydroxide. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. All right, let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And if you want to help us out on the channel, please press the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are doing well out there, all right? Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.